Hello everyone, this is Linda. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I hope you all had a beautiful, beautiful day. It's about 3 o'clock here. I've been to church, yeah, and of course, you know, I've been in the garden. So now I'm just chilling out in the house. So I decided to do this voiceover because it is so windy outside. And when I started to listen to this video, I could barely hear anything I say because of the wind. But those were my peas you were looking at, and they are doing really well. Mm -hmm. So here's my corn, and I've planted four rows. It's like four rows of corn, and at the end, it stops there. And at the end, right there, you can see they're coming up. Yeah, guys, you know, that's flowers. Yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, to a corn. And here's my inside plant that I planted outside, <laughs> and it's doing pretty good, doing pretty good so far. We'll see how how she is uh, later on in the spring. And this is my garlic. Now, I'm definitely paying attention to my garlic now because last um, season I did lose some garlic because it just stayed in the ground too long. But as you can see, there is some movement going on here. So I'm definitely keeping an eye out on my garlic. I don't want to lose uh, that many um, as I did uh, last year. But I, has, I still had a great harvest, but... Yeah, if you could save some, you know, each year, just do better. Now here, guys, this is a basket here, and I put cotton in it. Uh, I try, my whole thing is for this season is to create an environment for the Marnunch butterfly and the hummingbird. Now, not only the Marnunch butterfly, but she is my focus. Yeah, all butterflies are welcome. But for the hummingbirds, they use cotton also to make their nests. So I decided to put cotton in this basket so she can have her nest material. I, I have food and water, so everything she needs could be right here in the garden. And hopefully, my thinking is that she will make a nest to raise her family here. That's, that's my whole thinking. You know, just to create that environment. But as you can see, I have no more cotton in this little basket. So if you look up with me right there in the middle, mm -hmm, there's my cotton. And of course, we know who did this, and that is the squirrel. So, the, you know, everybody. I don't know if you know, but I do have this cat. She was born in my garden. And she and I have this relationship. I will feed her as long as she can keep the squirrels under control. That's our relationship. <laughs> but she's a free cat. She goes where she want to go. She don't live in my house. She's a free cat. She's a free outside cat. I just feed her. Right? But something is going on with you. And I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm going to upload a video on my other channel. It's called The New Orleans Gardener and Family. I'm going to put a link in the description box for you. But anyway, of course you all know this is my artichoke in the garden. And it's doing well. It's doing well. But wait a minute here. Look at that. Guys, that's cute. Cute as that. Now, she's acting a whole lot different. Now, she don't act like this. When normally when she see me, she will come to me. At this point, I'm calling her, but you know she's moving around, but she's not coming to me. So I know some things is going on with you. And uh, I'm going to explain it to you all on my other channel. Yeah. 
But anyway, this is my little corner over here, and I have flowers. But I was uh, really concerned for her because, listen, guys, I haven't been around a lot of cats um, growing up. Mostly the animals that I've been around is dogs, so I don't know a lot about cats uh, and their behaviors and, you know, what's going on with them, but I kind of figured this out uh, after a while, after I noticed some things about her that she was doing, so, yeah, you, you will see it on that other video. But right now, all I want to do now is talk about the garden, yeah, and what's going on here. And uh, thank you <laughs> to deal with her problems that she had. Maybe, you know, it's not a problem. <laughs> but here are my nasturtiums, and as you see, a second nasturtium flower has bloomed, and my violets stand up a little bit. Yeah, guys. And dandelion have those colors really looking really pretty orange purple and yellow and here is my um, this is my butterfly uh, garden and I, I planted a lot of those uh, seeds that I purchased uh, the other day and I don't know if you can see that that flower is blooming but I wanted to show you all a plant uh, the difference how I could tell the difference between a male monarch and a female monarch because I know one person say well how could you tell the difference so uh, this is the difference that uh, I can show you is that the male monarch has these uh, look like rectangles on the back of his wings. Yeah, just with a little line I'm showing you. And that is a male butterfly. Now, mostly all male butterflies have this. So it's not just for the monarchs. It's for mostly all butterflies. If you look at them, you will see the males have these, these rectangles. And this is the monarch that was in my yard and as you can see she don't have any of those markings on her back so that's how I can tell that it is a, a female that, that I had a female monarch in my yard and not a male really cool huh yay <laughs> But I've had a great day. I've planted uh, all of the morning glories. I planted some uh, dwarf um, uh, da -da 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 -da. sunflowers. <laughs> yeah, I planted some dwarf sunflowers, and I'm looking forward to them uh, growing. And as you can see, a lot of the seeds that I planted, they are growing. Yes, yes. But you know, guys, I want you all to know, it doesn't matter to me who you love, who you sleep with, what color you are, how tall you are, or short. You are welcome here on the New Orleans Garden Channel. Later, guys.